You know, when you're developing a new shark-proof wetsuit, at what point do you realize, my God, I mean, we're gonna have to test this thing. Let's see the footage. That's ah, not that gruesome. Researchers from Flinders University in Adelaide, Australia, have developed a new wetsuit material that could help reduce blood loss after shark bites. The material, called Shark Stop and Action TX, consists of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene fibers placed onto neoprene material traditionally used in wetsuits. In 2018, there were 90 confirmed provoked and unprovoked shark attacks. Most fatalities from shark bites came from white sharks. So, researchers went into the field to test the material in the jaws of the great white. Compared to standard neoprene, the new fabrics performed better in puncture, laceration, and bites from white sharks that ranged from nine to 12 feet long. The team also conducted lab tests, including a uniaxial machine puncture test and six axis hexapod robot laceration tests. They came to the same conclusion it required more force to puncture the new fabrics and cuts made to the new fabrics were smaller and shallower. Next, additional testing will include the potential damage to human flesh, as well as blood loss underneath the Shark Stop and Action TX. That means the next time they're likely wrapping a pig in this stuff, throwing it behind the boat. It's fun for some, frustrating for others, and depending on how easily you offend, it can have an impact on any competitive contest. Of course, I'm talking about talking shit. I mean, trash. Now, it's known that human to human trash talking can have an impact on the game and careers, if you're Miles Garrett. <laughs> However, the researchers at Carnegie Mellon University wanted to know how humans responded to talking robots. I'm sorry, trash talking robots. The robots weren't exactly programmed with high level trash talk. During a game of guards and treasures played between a human and Pepper, the humanoid robot from SoftBank Robotics, Pepper peppered the human with gems like, I have to say you are a terrible player. And over the course of the game, your playing has become confused. Even though it was mild-mannered, it still messed with the human's head. The data is particularly useful as the number of robots and AI-enabled IoT devices are expected to grow exponentially, particularly robots employed as human companions. Next, the researchers may work on non-verbal expressions. So, like hair flipping and arm crossing. Really nasty scowls. So, what did we learn? That if a robot is nice, we'll like it more. Nikola, one of the front runners in emerging autonomous truck technology, has revealed details about a new battery it has developed which could potentially extend the range in electric vehicles and make them a whole lot safer. According to the company, the battery has an energy density of 1100 watt hours per kilogram on the material level and 500 watt hours per kilogram on the production cell level. It also should pass nail penetration standards, which could reduce potential vehicle fires. The battery could double the range of current EV passenger cars from 300 miles per charge up to 600 with little or no increase to battery size or weight. Nicholas says that it's also more environmentally friendly and easier to recycle, swapping out toxic and expensive components that are used in current lithium ion cells. I mean, improvements are gonna be seen far and wide. Nicholas electric trucks are not gonna be able to drive 800 miles fully loaded between charges. The trucks will also weigh 5,000 pounds less than the competition if they keep the same battery size, and the company's hydrogen electric fuel cell trucks could surpass 1,000 miles between stops and top off in as little as 15 minutes. The company has also offered to share the intellectual property with other OEMs, even competitors. Nikola plans to show off the batteries charging and discharging in front of a crowd at Nikola World in the fall 2020. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.